Now, severe weather summer threats. Summer months can produce some of the most dangerous weather of the year. And right now, we're in a pinpoint weather alert as we're tracking some dangerous rip currents. Now, they have formed following this weekend's wet and windy weather. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo is here now with what you should know about this common weather threat, especially if you're planning on hitting the beach. Rip currents in the summertime usually form after a tropical system passes by southern New England. These rip currents are forming from a fall-like storm that passed over the weekend. There are still some pretty big waves at Scarborough Beach North. Rip current risk today is uh, it's pretty high. Jameson Lodgedice, head lifeguard at Scarborough Beach, said the surf was a little more rough yesterday, but there have been a few rip currents today. They pop up and the, they'll come and go, so we've seen some, but we haven't had to go in at all for any saves today. Yesterday we went in four or five times, I think. Rip currents usually form from passing ocean storms and their persistent winds, which in turn create large waves. The wave action on the shoreline can create rip currents. It's a channel of water that shoots out towards the ocean. Rip currents can form at any beach with breaking waves at any time of year, but we hear about them more once the beaches get busy. You can see the waves will break differently around it and it might foam a little differently. The, the water looks discolored. They are most common near jetties and piers and their speeds can exceed six miles an hour, which is faster than an Olympic swimmer. You can't outswim a strong rip current, but you can swim out of it by swimming parallel to shore. If you just swim with shore out of that narrow channel and then you can just swim in without fighting against the the riptide. And the risk of rip currents is expected to go down tomorrow, but you should always listen to the lifeguards. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.